has got it. It's MikeColeen.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, I just did a podcast, so I'm kind of jacked up, kind of excited about that. Let me adjust that a little bit. All right. So um, it was, uh, I think it's called the Warrior's Code. Let's see if I can find, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to right now. But uh, it's uh, it's for warriors. It's a podcast for Marines and military people. And uh, it's it's also about our innate, you know, caveman nature, the nature inside uh, in the in the lower reptilian brain and why, why are people the way they are. And if you've been watching my podcast, you've been uh, learning a lot about how how a caveman brain, the reptilian brain, it's on the, the brain stem, the lower brain. There's the left brain, right brain, the lower brain. And how that actually affects our relationships massively. In fact, that really is the relationship brain because it it, it is instinctual. Love, emotions, um, our mating system. See, our mating systems are inside there. So a lot of what I talk about is, well, why are women pissed? What is she mad about? So if you've been following my videos at all, you've noticed a lot on how when men try to do things that they think is going to make her happy, it pisses her off. It's because her mating system, her system looking for a mate is, is wired in the opposite way because men and women are the opposite of each other, okay? And we have different needs and all that stuff. I'm not going to go into that right now. So I'm going to go over, let's see. God, I got so much stuff. All right. So this one we're going to talk about is a lot of men will come to me and they'll say, Mike, how do I get a girl to like me? What do I do to her to get her to like me? I go, time out, stop. You don't do anything to her, all right? What you do is you get yourself to be what's called internal. And there's there's a ton of different ways, a ton of different techniques. that I've, I've learned some in Hawaii from the Huna Masters. Literally, I actually trained with Uncle George Naopi, not for a long time, but for a few weeks. It was a very interesting experience. Uh, Uncle George took... Uh, took to me very well. Most Hawaiians do. In fact, I'd say all Hawaiians so far. Um, but we learned a bunch of different techniques on how to ground yourself. Now, right down the middle, like, oh, God, there's that talk again, ground yourself. If you learn how to ground yourself, you'd be like, oh, this. Because I did the same thing. I thought, ground yourself? What are you talking about, right? So I'm going to go over a theme that's in, this, in my newest blog, and that blog is called Find Your Heart by Finding Your Heart. And that is the point. I want to read a couple things off of that. So it says, um, okay, so it says, everything is everything. You are me and I am you. When, you're hurt, when you hurt that person, you hurt yourself. When you love that person, you immediately love you. There is no escaping this universal law. Uh, women are men's greatest teachers, or man's greatest teachers. And I, I wrote over three decades teaching this course more and more. I am seeing this, okay? So I've actually seen this for a long, long time. And when I was younger, I'll be really honest, that really pissed me off when I first heard that. What do you mean they're our greatest teachers? You know, I was a young guy and and I just thought women were confusing. And I was like, what the hell? They don't make any sense. And I used to be one of those guys that said, women don't make any logical sense. And you know what? If you're saying that, technically you're right. Because the right brain, the female brain, is the non-logical processor. Let me just go from there. It would be equivalent to going to Mexico and saying, these people are just speaking gibberish. Because that's, okay, that's what men think. When women talk, men are like, what? What are you talking, what are you, what are you trying to say? You're not making any, you're not making any logical sense. That's not logical. So that would be equivalent to going to Mexico and never learning any Spanish at all, right? And looking at Mexicans and people from Mexico and going, you guys aren't logical. You don't make it, you're just speaking gibberish. No, that's an illogical thing to say. If you learn how to speak their language, all of a sudden, bing, everything makes sense. And that is what my course is about. Because, guys, if you learn how to speak her language, the right brain language, the female brain, it triggers her mating system and makes her want to have sex with you. Now do you see where we're going with this? Because a lot of guys are like, communication? Well, what do you mean communication? I speak perfect English. It's like That's not what she's talking about. You're talking left brain. She's talking right brain. The internal brain that triggers her mating system. Okay, so uh, I was on uh, full of Shopify last night, and a young uh, lady, she works at Shopify from the Philippines. Her name is Leo. I just want to say hello, Leo, because this video is for you. Um, she said, you know, Mike, you really got to talk more about how you said, because um, I talked to her on the phone months ago. She goes, you really should do a blog and, and a video on how... 
how did she say it? I put it, it it's in the, basically, okay, I'm just going to, she goes, you need to talk more about how it's important to heal yourself first and to know how to learn how to love yourself before you get into a relationship. She goes, that's what people need to hear. And I absolutely agree. That's a huge, huge chunk of my course. There's a core piece called the internal awareness piece. It's when you, your mind connects with your body physically. It's like now you're one. That begins the healing process. And part of that process is learning how to love yourself. I will give you specific steps such as looking in a mirror and saying I love you to yourself. Saying I'll do better or we can do this or I'm sorry I got mad. Because here's what, what do most people do? Not most, a lot. I think guys do it more than women. They'll say, oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, man, totally effed up. Oh, I screwed up. You got to stop doing that. You, 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 need, you have to start saying like we'll get them next time. You have to look in the mirror and say, I'm doing the best I can. That's something that started to help me. I used to go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and say, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I know I yelled at you earlier. Um, I would say I love you. You know, that was the weirdest thing for me to do the first couple of times. I look myself in the eye uh, in the mirror and say I love you. That was a very difficult thing. And when you start to do this, all right, here, here's what it is. All right. Bruce Lee talks about this. Martial arts talk about it. I don't know if they're conscious of what they mean. Uh, Buddhist monks talk about it. Therapists talk about it. Jesus talked about it. Buddha talked about it. Um, hypnosis and NLP talked about it. See, basically, it was going. The, the, the left brain is your forehead. It's when you're you got this energy and you're thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, when you're there, you close the door, and now you're disconnected from your right brain. The goal of the course is to teach you how to open up to all three of your brains. The left logical, the right emotional, spiritual, creative brain, and the lower reptilian brain, the instinctual fight or flight uh, mating system brain, all right? Our instinctual brain. So one thing I realized a long time ago is the number one goal that I decided to do in my book, Cracked Female Code, is as guys were reading the book, I wanted them to pop open, and I wanted them to pop open again. My goal, and I, I believe I say it in the first section, the first couple hundred, first hundred pages, I believe it's where I said it, is I realized the problem with modern Western society is we believe it's all about rules. That's the left brain, the rules, structure, and organization brain. Everything's about rules, relationships, love, having a friend. Here's the rules on how to have a friendship. That's, oh my God, she's like, really? So... What I realized is by doing a relationship courses, and a lot of therapists in the 80s and 90s, and I say early 2000s, that was all about rules. Or here's, and it, of course, it depended on what their religion was. If it was Christian, well, here's the rules to have a relationship. If it was Mormon, if it was, you know, whatever, it was all these different rules, and no one could figure it out, and everyone's getting divorced. Well, clearly, it's not about rules, because the right brain is the relationship brain. Think about that. If you're stuck in the left male rules, structure, and organization brain, you're disconnected from your heart. Because the emotional processor is here, but you feel it literally in your heart and chest area. That's why they call it love. So what we've been doing unconsciously or maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to go there. On some level, purposely disconnecting us from our, our heart, from our emotions, from our feelings. The modern people, especially men, we're very disconnected. And it's because of computers. It's because of all this, this digital laptop cell phone, everything. You can't even go to the bank anymore without having to push buttons and deal with a computer and talk to a computer. And what that does is that pushes you in your left brain. So our therapists are saying, here's the rules. Our churches, here's the rules. Our, our work, here's the rules. Everything is about rules, which means now we're totally loaded over here and no one's happy. Everyone's miserable. Everyone's pissed off. Everyone's like, I don't feel loved. I don't feel like a human anymore. I don't feel good about myself. I don't feel physically good. And that's what I do in my courses. I teach guys how to be internal and women. I've got courses for women. I don't want to just say guys. So, excuse me. So, Leo had said, uh, that, that's actually a, a girl's name, female name. Um, and she said, you really need to teach people and talk to them about self-love. And again, it's about, it's about being compassionate with yourself. It's about being patient with yourself. Let me turn this up a little bit. There we go. It's about being patient with yourself. Most people are not patient with themselves. Most people are not kind to themselves. Most people don't love themselves or do loving things like buy themselves a gift just for the hell of it, just to be good. You have to look at it this way. There's the brain, the mind, 
And then there's the other being, we'll call it, and that's your emotions, your feelings. That's Now, that person is more sensitive. That person is like a younger child. Here's the deal. What, what, what do most people do, men and women? You get into a relationship because you want someone to love yourself. So a lot of times when I do my writing, I'll put myself or with your in space or a hyphen self because this is my and this is self. This is I am. Jesus talks about the I am, right? Popeye talked about I am that I am. Jesus said I am that I am. If you think this stuff is coincidence that Buddha says it, Jesus said it, Popeye the sailor man said it, it's not coincidence. They're trying to get you to reconnect with yourself. Most humans have disconnected. The way you start to connect with yourself is you have to love you. But as I just said a moment again, what do most people do? Most people get into relationships out of need. It's not out of I love you. It's out of I need you. That's, that is not going to make a healthy relationship. It will, that's what's wrong with most relationships. You're not with them because you love them. You think it's love. But what it is is they're loving. Now watch this. They're loving that inner child of you, that 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 child, that sensitive, emotional part of you. And that's what you want them to do. And then when they stop doing it, you are just angry and hurt and pissed. That shouldn't be that way. That means you're not a whole person. You're not connected to yourself. You're not one with yourself. In NLP, during a five-week training, they, went, they go, what is all therapy about? From psychologists to therapists to hypnotherapists to NLP, to energy healing. And I know because I'm trained in all of these modalities. They all say the same thing. We're trying. There's one main thing we're trying to do. We're trying to heal you emotionally so the left brain and the right brain can have communication, can have a connection. Because most people, it's like this. And they're separated and they're, they're apart. They're disconnected. Well, the goal is to gain rapport. That's, the, that's what we used is for the left brain and the right brain to gain rapport, to be on the same rhythm to be on the same beat, to be on the same page, because now you're at one, and when you're at one, you're in love with yourself, okay? It is a wonderful feeling to have inside when you are deeply connected to yourself. That is the first goal. That is the main goal. Now, even if you are married, you still need to learn how to connect with yourself, okay? As I said, I'm going to give you a few tips. Go to therapy. I prefer you would go to an NLP trainer, someone who's been doing it for at least 10 years, who's really good at it, a master Ericksonian hypnotherapist, uh, energy healing, energy medicine, that's a good one. Um, come to me. I do all this stuff. Um, the other things, I, as I said, is you can, let's say you make a mistake. Choose to forgive yourself. Choose not even to blame yourself. Choose not even to get upset with yourself. Be like, you know what? It's okay. We. It's literally like you're you're with your little three-year-old daughter or son. They're little children. If you can't be kind to you, how are you going to be kind to that woman or that young lady that you think is so hot and sexy and you want to love and you want to get married to? See, she can see that. Women can see that. The problem with a lot of women, like, oh, I'll help him. I'll help him fix himself. I'll help him heal. And then she gets caught up in your shit. And then, then, then the nightmare begins about six months to a year later. And there's fighting and yelling. And I love you. And ah, they're fighting and yelling and screaming. That's not love. So what you first need to do is you need to first connect with yourself and heal yourself and become a more at least complete person. Will anyone ever be that way 100%? No. But you can open up to yourself 100% and have a greater awareness of yourself. But most people, I'm just disconnected. I'm out here. I'm walking around. And I'll let you, you know, make sure everything's okay. No. You don't let them make sure that you're okay or that you're going down the right path. You need to go down your path. You need to connect with you. You need to lead your life and be with you. I know it might sound very vague. So other than different therapies that you can do, Put your awareness on yourself. Okay, I'll give you one. Okay, here we go. I'll give you something. Let me move the chair. Get comfortable. All right. One thing that I do, and I still do it to this day, is if, if I'm upset, if I'm angry, if I'm hurt, if I'm sad, I will literally lay on the couch or I will go uh, in bed and I will just curl up, literally, 
And sometimes, you know how you get different, like you're angry or maybe it's fear up here or maybe you're sad here or maybe it's in your gut or your solar plexus, the left side of your gut, the right side. Well, those are like little parts. In NLP, we call those parts. Energy healers call them energy charges, okay? There's different words. I'm sure psychologists have different names for it. But the point is, is those are like little children, literally. Now, I don't mean they're little kids walking around, but inside you, a good, a good example is that they're children. No one can love your child like you can. But what do most people do? They try to get a therapist to love it or a, or a girlfriend or, or a husband or, or whatever. Imagine you, okay, imagine you being a child of your mother and father and you're three years old and your parents are always ignoring you looking for love somewhere else and then they're hurting inside and they want someone else to fix that. They want someone else to love that. And that that is the little you inside. Sounds shitty, doesn't it? My point being is you have to start learning to love yourself. You need to start spending time with yourself. Curl up in bed and let's say you've got a little feeling or fear or hurt or sadness or whatever. Be with it. Literally just be with it and put your awareness around it in an open way. Okay? Don't, what most people try to do is they try to say, be happy. Don't be sad. Don't, don't, don't feel guilty. Don't, don't feel hurt. No, that's not how you do it. It's like a little child, man. You got to just be there with it and allow it to feel whatever it feels. That doesn't mean you got to go flip out and yell and scream out in public. That I did not say that. Say, go home, go lay down somewhere at the park or whatever. It could be in your car for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Do some breathing. Breathe in your nose and out your mouth for about 10 or 15 times. Calm yourself down a bit and just be with yourself. That is one of the most healing things that I've ever learned in my life. So if it's right here, if it's, sometimes it's in my forehead. You just, it's like the rest of your body is with it. It's like we're here with you. And it's going to take time. And you'll notice that thing will start to calm down sometimes in the first time you do it. Within 30 minutes or 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how long. It could be an hour. And it may, may need to relearn to trust you. And that may take weeks, even months for you to be there. Because your whole life you've been pushing it away. I don't want to feel it. You've been pushing the emotions down. And then the emotions keep coming up and popping up all over in the worst place at the club. See, here's the, here's why a lot of guys are like, a lot, I tell you right now, a lot of my clients, I can't meet women. Well, you're not healing. You're not loving your own self. So when you got public, all these emotions and feelings that you don't want to deal with that you've been shoving down, well, they pop up when you're at the club. They pop up when you meet a really hot chick or girl you really like. They pop up when you go for that job interview. You're, you're kind of freaking out and you're panicking or, or you, you don't feel worthy. You feel sad or all kinds of range of emotions. You need to literally start spending time with yourself. Here's why. The more you connect with yourself, the more you love yourself, the more you're compassionate and loving with yourself, it means now you can begin to treat other people that way because it's it becomes a part of who you are. You become this person who's a more kind, caring, patient, loving, compassionate person by doing all of those things to yourself. So now you're walking around in this body, this ball of energy, I like to call it, and people are like, well, that guy's more patient with himself. He's more loving. He's more kind. But most people, they're mad, they're angry, they can't, why can't I meet anyone? Jeez, I don't know. All right? Because you're not coming across as someone who even loves himself. How can you love her if you can't love you? Think about that. I am you and you are me. When you love you, you love her. When you love her, you love you. It is, oh, I think it was in Quantum Particle uh, when we were going over that in uh, class, they were talking about you could have a particle miles away. I don't know, I don't know if they said 100,000, a million miles away, right? And there's something that happens. The minute this particle feels something, this one does. It's not like one, two. It's one, 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 one. It's all, if, this, if this spins, this spins. It's automatic. If this gets hot, this gets hot. It's not, there's no delayed response. And that's something scientists are like, how is that possible, right? That's another subject. But the point being is, you ever heard the phrase, we're all one? We are, literally. I'm going to give you, I don't know if this came from physics or from metaphysics or what, but, you know, Jesus was like, I am that, that I am. Uh, I, I, I am that I am, right? And so 
It was explained to me during one of these seminars, a, a, a way of understanding this is, imagine there's one particle, one, in the whole universe, not one type in millions and billions and trillions of those, one. And that one particle, it's zipping around and it's making the picture, it's making the wood, it's, it's, it's making this, it's making that, it's, it's making the mirror, it's making, there's a couch right here. It's making my glasses, it's making my hair, making my face, it's making all, it's, and it's going so fast that it's, the whole universe in one second, not even a second, a millisecond, a millionth of a second. Someone, I don't remember where I learned this, but they were basically saying like, we are all that one particle. How do I explain this to you? It's like that particle, it's, it's almost like it's a pencil and it's painting and it's drawing cars and trees and houses and planets and stars and moons and universes and galaxies right now. I don't mean it's taking years to do that. I mean, like, like that. Every movement you do is like that. I don't mean there's one particle for me and one for you. I mean there's and one for her and, one, and we have our own particles. I mean there's literally one. Whether that's true or not, I don't care. But what it does is it helps your mind and your heart begin to realize we really are all connected. One of the biggest teachings I teach in my course is to teach men how to be emotionally grounded. Why? Because man, does that feel good. It's like getting a two-hour massage. It's like doing yoga class for an hour and a half. And you walk out, I feel so loose and I feel so good. And all of a sudden, <laughs> women like that feeling. When you're loose, when you're relaxed, when you're technically what women will call emotionally grounded, they want to be around that because it feels good. So when you feel good, <laughs> She feels good. It's like those two particles. If you feel bad, she feels bad. If you feel good, she feels good. That is one of the biggest secrets on how to get, get the girl of your dreams. And if you're married, how to get your wife to be really happy. And again, I'm going to say it again. It's not what you do to your wife. It's not what you do to her. It's what you do to you. That's how you get a girl to like you. And you don't do it to get her to like you or to get her to go on a date. You do it because it feels good. And all of a sudden, bing, 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 bing. All these girls, if you're a single guy, they want to date you. They want to be around you. They want to talk to you simply because you're open, you're relaxed, and you feel good, and you're not doing the whole pickup thing. That's a funny thing. A lot of clients are like, well, what do we do? Just go live your life. You're going to have more women talking to you. You'll have more dates, more numbers than you could freaking imagine in a million years. And you won't have to pick up on women. And that's the beauty of this, this course. So the number one thing that you have to do is learn how to love you. Go ahead and read the blog. I'm going to put this in the blog. Uh, hopefully I remember what I'll put the link in the blog also as well. Or I'm sorry, the link to the blog in the YouTube video. So if you found my blog, the YouTube video is going to be on there. Uh, but if you found the YouTube video, the blog will be on there. It gives you more techniques and how to do it, okay? Uh, remember, subscribe. I have not been asking people to subscribe. I just I thought it was kind of rude. I thought it was wrong. Uh, but I was watching this video of Daryl Eves on YouTube, and he's just like, how are they going to know to subscribe if you don't ask them? So if I remember right, it's going to be down there. Okay, right there. I think right where my finger's about. <laughs> okay, either ways, you'll find it, and I'll put a uh, link in the description box, but it's going to be right up there. So click subscribe. Make a comment, because apparently comments are going to help me with my YouTube uh, algorithm, getting them up. Um, a lot of people say you have really good quality content, but the problem is no one's making comments. No one's clicking like. And, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say no one. I mean, not a lot of you, okay? Because it really will help me. I would really appreciate it. Just say hello. Say, hey, great video, or I liked what you said. Just, it could, just put the word yes or truth. I don't really care. Just some quick comment. And remember, click like also. That helps a lot. And subscribe too. Um, my book, Cracked Female Code, is on sale right now. And ladies, remember, we have the book, Why Men Just Don't Get It For You. And I'll see you guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate I appreciate the comments you guys have made, the people sending me personal messages. It has actually been pretty cool. And I'm glad I've actually helped some of you um, in your lives. So that's why I do this business.